Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome and happy Monday. Uh, welcome to Far Cry 5, part 7 of Far Cry 5. We're on the last region, I believe, of Hope County, the last region. And the last boss before the final boss, I think. So we're making great progress. Looking forward to seeing how far we get today. Good to see everybody on Facebook today. Harold, Tony, Sam. And it's good to see everybody, all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon subscribers on YouTube today. Blood Wolf 282, TJ, Rachel with the Gold Derby, Alt Grendel with the Gold Derby. John DeGian Berardino, Survivor from the Old Era, TJ Kit Cowling, Jamie Honey Bunny with a Gold Derby, Ian Chamberlain, Wasteland Warrior, Knight Paladin Eleanor, and G or, I'm sorry, JTS79. With the first super chat of the day saying, get ready to feel the breeze on the taint, Ox. Oh, I'm so glad that's the first Super Chat of the day. Nay, the week. It's a Super Chat about the taint. Wonder. Yeah, uh, Breeze on the Taint and Ticks on the Junk and all of that, right? Last week, this game was very graphic uh, with their uh, below the waist uh, commentary. We can only hope that uh, we don't meet any more characters with that sort of vocabulary. And uh, those poor life choices. All right, so uh, uh, let's get into some Far Cry 5. I may be a little bit preoccupied today. Got a lot going on. I'm trying to juggle way too much. And um, uh, let's see. Then I, I'm continuing to do my uh, ads. I will definitely for the rest of June, maybe on into July, we'll see. So I've got four ads lined up. Uh, we'll be tackling those here in about 30 minutes is when we'll do this, the first one. Daddy of One with a super chat on YouTube says, Happy Far Cry Monday. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I hope so as well. Man, I, uh, my weekend was wonderful. It was hot, though. I don't think I got burned. I, I put suntan on, suntan lotion, sunscreen. I put sunscreen on all over the place. I got my arms, I got my, the back of my neck and shoulders, I got my, my face. I had it with me like some sort of lucky charm. I just carried it everywhere. And I was constantly slathering my face. And look, no red, no pink. I was out on the town last weekend, had a wonderful time, went to Pike's Place Market, and man, it's been crispy, crispy hot up here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, good for the gardens, good for the, the, the wildlife and the plants, but man, it's, it's really difficult to enjoy a weekend in this kind of heat. And I know that it pales in comparison to the kind of heat um, enjoyed uh, all over the planet well, right now. I mean, California has it pretty rough. But what can I say? I, I've spent a great deal of my life in Alaska and in Washington. I'm not used to the heat. I don't like it. And anything above 80 is just unbearably hot for me. So. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what, how hot it was, but it, it felt really hot. Pavel says that today is the last day to buy Planescape Torment on GOG for only $5. Just read it. No funny comments. All right, I, I, I promise not to add a funny comment to that, Pavel. I just, I'll read it again, just so that I'm just reading it. <clears throat> Today is the last day to buy Planescape Torment on GOG for only $5. No funny comments, look at that. There you go, Pavel, thank you for that heads up. I'm sure the community is going to appreciate letting them know. Kristen Engelhart on YouTube says, let's have a ball. I agree. Let's have a ball. Brandon Beltfed says, in this heat, I enjoy a nice light breeze on my face. Cheers. In this heat, I enjoy a nice light breeze on my face. Yeah, I mean, I also enjoy a, a good breeze on my face as well. Isn't the face the appropriate place to enjoy a breeze? 
I mean, you can enjoy a breeze anywhere on your body, I suppose. But the face is one of the major places that a breeze is enjoyed across the board. Rockland F says, uh, I suppose there is apprehension setting up a squad with Herc and other, another companion for fun banter today. He isn't always gross, just silly. Uh, <laughs> apprehension, yes. Yes, Herc is quite a character. Do they banter with each other or is it just themselves? Sam Caps says, I know this is a big donation, but I just wanted to say how much of a great YouTuber you are. I love you, Oxhorn. And he sent that comment with a very generous super chat. Thank you so much, Sam Caps. Extremely generous. I appreciate it so much. And I'm grateful that you enjoy my content as much as you do. I don't plan on going anywhere. More live streams and more lore content to come. By the way, I've been making great progress on my new, my new lore series. Um, over the week, I, I didn't make much progress, but this weekend I sat down and really got a bunch of footage shot so that I can start working on my lore series. I'm excited to share my next episode with you all. Jocelyn Ryan on uh, Facebook with a donation of stars says, Happy Monday, Ox and all. Can you believe it? 100 weeks of stars. Just goes to show how awesome you and your community is that we stick around. I mean, that that is awesome. You're, you are definitely awesome, Jocelyn. 100 weeks on fire donating stars on Facebook. I, I can't tell you how kind that is how uh, much I appreciate it and, and this is a first I, I believe you hold the record on Facebook there Jocelyn thank you so much and then Josh Bunton with a donation of stars on uh, uh, Facebook says uh, definitely awkward time to tune in with Ox talking about the breeze on my taint oh I see that's why he, he said breeze on his face, right, because previously we learned about a, a breeze on the tank. Yes, yes, we are just repeating the words of some of the more famous, or should I say infamous characters from Fallout 5, or Far, Far Cry 5. Far Cry 5. Uh, I hope there's no breezy taint in Fallout 5. Just hope not. Garrett McFadden says, Hi Oxhorn and all in chat. Ox, has it been a demonetization nightmare with the games you have picked? Lol, Far Cry, and the Quarry play on, sir. Thank you, Garrett. And yeah, Far Cry has been a uh, demonetization nightmare. It's been absolutely awful. Uh, literally every broadcast I have to do, uh, af after every broadcast of Far Cry 5, I have to go back and uh, mute entire segments of the show throughout just because there's so much um, copyrighted music. Uh, with the quarry, I, uh, I did actually get a copyright claim, but... YouTube had removed it before I logged into YouTube to deal with it. So, I don't know. I got a notification on my phone that, that, that there was a copyright claim. But then when I got home and logged in to check it out, it was gone. So, yeah, I don't know about that. The Ascent was pretty bad, too. I, a, a, several of my episodes of The Ascent got demonetized um, as well. Um... Jocelyn Ryan, with a very generous donation of stars, uh, says, Stars party for 100 weeks. And man, she let it rain. The stars on the screen went flying everywhere. Loved that animation. Thank you for that, Jocelyn. And thank you very much for the generous contributions. And then Jared, with a donation of stars, says, Since you, have, uh, since you not have a game planned for Wednesday, Maybe you can do either Elex, Dragon Age, or Halo War, and Halo War 2, and the rest of the Halo trilogy. Um, maybe I could. Or maybe I could do any of the other literally hundreds of games that I have been uh, recommended, that have been recommended to me. Um, but yeah, my list is long, and I've got some thinking to do before I make a decision in time for Wednesday. Uh, Claire Marie Baker with a donation of stars. Very kind, Claire Marie. She says, uh, Hi, Ox and Chad. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. I have been watching Starfield gameplay. It's going to be a huge game. Can't wait. I know. I also am extremely 
excited about Starfield. Daddy of One says, a breeze is great when wearing a kilt on a hot day. Just saying, I imagine that's so. Just as long as you don't accidentally um, Marilyn Monroe that thing, you know what I mean? Silver Fang says, good morning, Ox. Who is your favorite companion combo? I mean, the animals are, all, are a lot of fun. Everybody loves uh, the bear and the cougar and the dog. Uh, we'll probably be having a great uh, companion combo today with her and the helicopter lady. She's always fun. Perry's Market says, hello, Ox. Glad to make it to this stream. I love the videos. Thank you, Perry's Market. Good to have you on the broadcast today. Change the Pot says, if you live in Wisconsin, you'd instead like a nice brie in your face. Yes, yes, Wisconsin, they love their cheese. And brie is the cheese, and it sounds close to breeze. Love it, James the Punk. Thank you for that contribution. Sean Fornango says, the Hey Oxhorn, great news. My brother is getting married to his girlfriend and is also having a child. What type of cigar should I give him as celebration? Well, congrats to your brother, his girlfriend, and their upcoming baby. Um, well, I, I guess congrats to the baby on about to be uh, being born, but congrats to the parents for the marriage and the baby. Um, you know, there it's there are plenty of great cigars out there. My only recommendation would be don't buy one from a gas station. If you're going to get a good cigar for your brother for his bro birth to her marriage, go to a local tobacconist, a local cigar shop that has a nice big walk-in humidor. They're going to have a good selection. And then you don't you don't want to go cheap. You don't want to buy, you know, a, a, a $9.99 cigar, $9.99. You want to get something in the $16 to $20 range. As long as you do that, you're going to get a good cigar for your brother to celebrate with. And they're even more expensive than that. But a good $20 Rocky Patel, Oliva, uh, CAO. I like the brick houses. These are pretty good. He'd probably enjoy that as a, as a, a nuptial smoke. Raquel, uh, with a very generous uh, super chat on YouTube, says, Hey, Ox, after two and a half years, COVID finally caught up with me and my husband. Thank you for keeping us company and helping us feel better. Have a great week. Uh, Raquel, uh, so sorry to hear uh, that you got COVID uh, and that your husband got it. Uh, I hope you guys recover swiftly and quickly. And uh, I'm glad that you're here with us. Thanks for letting us know. I hope you have a great week, too. I feel like the odd man out because I, as well, have, have yet to catch it. No one in my household has got it. It's weird, though, because we, we've been getting a lot of colds. But every time someone in the household gets a cold, I, got, I do the COVID test. There's all these at-home COVID tests now, and it always comes up negative. I don't know how we're getting all of these colds all of the time because both of my kids are in school. And they're little sponges, and they pick up every little virus that the kids spread around at school. Then they bring it home, and they share it with me. So it seems like the entire winter and spring and even summer so far has just been cold after cold after cold after cold, and yet no COVID yet. So I don't know. I guess I'm just uh, I've just have been lucky. I've, I've known many people who have gotten it, and it's just been absolutely miserable for them. So. Uh, Raquel says, I, I now support Planescape. We've got to... Or that's Rachel. Rachel says she now supports Planescape. That's another vote in the chat for Planescape Torment. Well, maybe. Maybe. Well, I mean, I've got a, I've got a game for a place for Wednesday. Who knows? Jessica McDonald. On Facebook says, I'm a little death claw from the quarry. Here is my claws and here is my roar. If you try to run away, you won't get very far. All I have to do is stretch out my arm and knock you out. I wrote this when I was half asleep, she says. It's a beautiful poem. Thank you. I feel like that should be embroidered on a pillow. And then she says, uh, what travel buddy? In Fallout 4, do you not want to spend a lot of time with? X688 is boring. 
as all get out. He's just a boring, bland, dry toast character. He's got nothing. The only interesting thing about X688 is the fact that he is a synth, and therefore by observing him, we can learn a little bit about the Institute and their motivations. That's it. He has nothing interesting to say. He's not even a good scary character. He's not even a good evil character. He just has, he's completely dis dispassionate. He has no love of life, no hatred of life. He's just, meh. doesn't care what you do. He has nothing to say. He's a bland character. And I know that he was made to be that way on purpose. So, you know, maybe that, maybe he's a good character. I don't know, but he's boring. I mean, dog meat's boring. I know I shouldn't say that because he's the dog and everybody loves the dog. He's cute. Right, he's a cute dog, a very cute German Shepherd. And every now and then he retrieves something that's useful. But he's boring compared to the other characters because he's a dog and he doesn't talk. No, that's all. Um, Curie's a little boring. Every now and then she says something interesting. When you go into like a pre-war bunker or some old area, or, or like a, a Fallon's department store or something, She'll have something interesting to say. But it's rare. I like Kate a lot. She's really fascinating. Paladin Dance is... It's all right. Paladin Dance and Preston Garvey are both kind of the same. They're just one-dimensional. Well, they're not really one-dimensional. They're, they're one-note characters. I like Preston's fire. When you do something he doesn't like, he lets you know. And Paladin Dance is like that, too. He... He lets you know when you displease him. Unlike X688, you can do whatever. There's, no, there's nothing he'll do. Like, you can, the only thing he'll do to actually express displeasure is if you try to destroy the Institute. And then he doesn't really say much. He just starts firing at you. Alt Grendel says, uh, Mr. Gas Mask wants to know if you saw the Fallout 76 update. I've heard about it, have not yet seen it or played it, but it's something I am hoping to do. It's on my list of things to do. All right. Cat5 says Deacon will always be my favorite Fallout 4 companion. Deacon is a great companion. He's, he's, not, he's not only funny, but because he's a liar, he just says the most off-the-wall weird stuff all the time, claiming that he once was a woman, and then that he once was a ghoul. <laughs> and he did this, and he did that. And there was one time when he was over in uh, the, with the NCR. I'm like, what? Okay. So yeah, he's a fascinating character. He's probably one of the better companions to carry around with you. And then, of course, the primary quest companions are great, only because they recorded so much more dialogue for them. Uh, Piper and uh, Nick Valentine, there's a lot more dialogue for them, and they just have more to say more often. So they're more interesting in that regard. Okay. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Let's get some companions because you guys, uh, you want some interesting dialogue. Let's see. Uh, is that Herc? Yeah, let's get Herc. Uh, what would be a good uh, alternative for Herc? Or someone to go along with him? So wait, I've gotten all of the specialists except for this one, Jess Black. Try her.
Quinn Tyus, uh, again, back in the chat, gifting Oxhorn memberships. He just gifted us five Oxhorn memberships. Thank you very much, Quinn Tyus. And congratulations to your FBI agent, Mad Dog Wolfus, Carol Ann, Timberwolf Morgan, and Sem Semper Veritas. Congratulations to all of those who got a free Oxhorn membership today. Awesome, and thank you, Quinn Tyus, again, for your amazing generosity. All right, so we've got some updated points available. I'm probably going to have to put this into a health boost as I'm near the end of the game. Well, I'm on the last boss anyway. Fishing. Eh. Okay, so we finally got to the Whitetail Mountains. And I believe this is the one we were on. Barren Lumber Mill. That's where we're going to get that uh, new companion. All right. So those are the cabins. Do that one first. Okay, I'll hurry over. Oh yeah, let's do this. Damn it. Hell yeah! Again. So what are we doing today? The only map we have for the count is with you. For now, just keep it at the top. Bet you can't take a step in there without termites pouring out.
Wow, yeah, these guys are very effective. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like these companions. Okay. New object revealed the Cougar space car. Nah, check around. Cabin's too obvious. What about a root cellar? Or something that would lead underground? Alright, find the Cooper cabin stand. Wait for this fire to go out. That's really the only problem. There we go. That that's part of the fire is out. Makes the gal want to pick up smoking again. Cooper Cabin emergency procedures. In case of emergency, Cooper Cabin is equipped with a nearby storm bunker. Simply climb down and pull the door shut. Remain in the bunker until the emergency is over. Old Sun Outfitters. Found it yet? The cache has a tracker that'll cause a feedback loop on your radio if you get close. They probably hid it underground. Definitely wouldn't keep it in the cabins. Okay, storm cellar, storm cellar. I don't know if you met my ex, Herc Senior, but let me tell you, he's a real piece of garbage. Selfish as hell and dumber than shit. He's running for Senate now. He'll fit in perfectly with the rest of our politicians. Oh, that's Herc Senior's ex-wife. I didn't make that connection. Uh, Cooper Cabin emergency protocols, it's the same thing. A nearby storm bunker. I was out of uh, ammo for the thump thump anyway. Cool. I've got two? What? How do I have two? Let's set a waypoint. That's the next stop. Uh... Oh, there's some roadkill over there. Hey. 
Uh, JTS79 says Grand Theft Auto 5 is basically Red Dead Redemption 2 set in modern times. You play as criminals in both games. Large explorable world and good characters also. Only downside is profanity and a little nudity. Gladly. Yeah, difficult to broadcast in that situation. I was in the middle There's of pulling my shoe. Better hurry. I was in the middle of pulling my parachute. Shouldn't I have dropped a little bit slower than that? That seemed like a really fast drop. Is that Herc in there? Lock and load, sweet cheeks. Trouble nearby. Okay, can see you on the cameras. Oh my god! The helicopter! There's a comp patrol headed your way. Better hurry. The helicopter just destroyed my parachute. What the heck? I, this, this is gonna get me killed. Over and over and over again. Alright. Just don't. Please. Just don't kill me. I'm. Wait! I'm piloting it. Now I'm piloting the helicopter? What? I'm so confused. Okay. Can see you on the cameras. Stash should be somewhere. Shit. There's a call patrol headed your way. Better hurry. God, trying to find out where they're shooting from is hard. They're hiding in the woods. Stash will definitely be outside the cabin. Take a look around. No rockets on that bird? I tried firing rockets and it didn't work. I'll try again. Watch. We get the sound effect, we get the light, and nothing. I mean, I shouldn't even have this helicopter anyway because I was riding someone else's helicopter. <laughs> like, what is even going on now? There's one right there! Yeah, and, and this doesn't, this shouldn't have a gun. There's no gun attached to this helicopter. Lock. It could be some sort of bug out hole nearby. I mean, talk you about know, a bug out like hole. A hatch. It's literally a clone of her helicopter because I was riding in it. It gave me my own with a gun, but this does not have a gun. Oh wait, it does have a gun. There's the gun. Okay. But then where were the rockets? Why didn't the rockets work? I mean, they did kind of work, but then they didn't work. 
Oh my god. Bethesda is not the only game to have glitches. They're the only company to have glitches with their games. That's all I'm saying. Quickly written note. Eli, we can't stay anymore. It's too dangerous with all these cult patrols around. I'm taking my family and we're leaving tonight. That stuff I was holding on for you is outside, in the usual spot, underground. Sorry, Eli, but I have to think about what's best for my family. Neil. Final crate. Pyro says those were flares, not rockets. Rocket. Really, I pressed the rocket button. I'll try it again. What's the point of a flare in a helicopter? And since when could I shoot flares in a helicopter? Well, you know what? The only helicopter I've driven... You got some Peggy Dingleberries on your ass, kiddo. Before this one was the, um, the Vietnam War one. All right, man, I'm in and clench it onto the seat. Let's do this. Pretty sure that's it. Don't you worry about that. I'm the hell away from you. That's the last dash. Deputy, you're not too far. Stop those Peggies from taking off with our supplies. Hey there, man. Reach Kestrel Cap. Got a kick out of that, didn't you? Fucking nerd. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Uh, let me run an ad real quick. Drink some coffee. Pyro says there are two different types of helicopters. One with flares and one with rockets. Got gotcha. you. Uh, Josh says you deployed countermeasures to heat-seeking rockets, Ox. Oh, is that what they are? Gotcha. Okay. Brad Bus says people think Bethesda is bad. Playing Ubisoft games at launch always have the weirdest glitches. I'm sure they do. I mean, most games these days have weird glitches at first, don't they? What? How did she get it? What's going on? She's now a passenger? <laughs> this game! What even is happening? She's now a passenger! <laughs> Alright. Roadkill nearby? Ooh, these guys are dancing. It's a happy romance. There! There! Park's on the move. Camera. Wait. Ah, oh, no! Those motherfuckers wanted to play. 
place. They're driving away with our shit. Get after them and get that stash back. Hurry! They're getting away! Oh my god! How did she get out of the helicopter? Watch me get my move on. Okay, that's good enough. Come on back to the wolf's den. Alright, we got it. Now to go back to the wolf's den. Prisoner, really quickly. Shake it and it. Uh, <laughs> There's a lot more of them out there, Depp. If you come across any others, you rescue them too. Don't let those goddamn Peggy's take any more good folk. Hey, kid. Just hands up. Resistance just got another drop of supplies in the shops. Sounds like some pretty useful gear. Well, now I've got a Herc in my helicopter. That is so funny. Well, looks like we got some dancing partners. There they are. Where? They're not doing a very good job of hiding, are they? I need a better angle. The oh, hell, I'm taking hits. She got him. They just keep coming back to this spot. I'm just gonna move on now. That's just a lot of people. Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Oh my good God, Herc. Valley Crane says, Woo, I'm late. What did I miss? Not much, my friend. Well, a little bit. She's way I over need there your now. Help. Come on. Feels like I'm done. Hawkeye here. And that team was doing a good job, but they dropped off another shipment of wolves over. Glad we can actually put this stuff to use instead of letting it collect dust in some bunker. This is a big help. I can't believe you caught those guys. Thought for sure they'd get away. If we had a couple more people like you around here, Eden's gate would have rolled over a long time ago. 
Thanks again, deputy. A whole lot more. All right, quest complete. Supplies from the wolf den, everything I need to fight the peggies. So, here's the deal. I'm trying to get this pirate radio running. Something to inspire the troops. Get people on our side, you know? And before anyone tries talking shit, yeah, I prefer vinyl. But don't you call me a fucking hipster, though. Ain't gonna catch me wearing a man bun or drinking kombucha. My radio signal's shot right now, but Tammy's on that. In the meantime, I figured I should start working on the playlist. Eli left a couple records for me, but I could always use more. So, if you happen to come across any albums, toss them my way. Once Tammy gets the signal clear, it's DJ Weedy 24 7. Hope you're ready. Oh, radio station, turn the tables, side mission. Oh, looks like I've already collected the first set of vinyl crates. What's up? Cool. These babies are going on the air pronto. You come across any more, I'll add them to the playlist. All right, uh, Daddy of One says, we know who called Shotgun first. Yeah, it looks like it was Herc Jr. And then Rage Quit Pro became, or gave, gave a super chat, a super tip. Thank you, Rage Quit Pro. I used to play RPGs, now I shoot RPGs. Hey, Deb. Got a sec? Got a job for you. You remember the Grand View Hotel? That shithole we pulled you out of? Need you to head back there. Jacob nabbed a whitetail by the name of Briggs, and he's using the same brain-melting nonsense he tried on you. All in the hopes that Briggs will give up the wolf stand. I don't think our boy can hold out as long as you did. And if he gives up our location, we're done. So we gotta move on this quick. Some folks here think the smart move would be just to off him. But if we start killing our own to save our asses, how's that make us any better than Jacob? Nah, I ain't going down that road. Here's what we're gonna do instead. Weedy's cooked up a little deprogramming package. Same thing we used on you. Need you to swap out the tape they got running in Briggs' room with the one I'm gonna give you. And then, well, then we'll see what happens. If everything goes smooth, our guy comes back to Earth. If it doesn't, well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. I'd like to know where the Peggy got all that military gear from. They're armed to the day. Get free. Read your equipment right. It'll be there. <laughs> Yo, it's good to have you on board. All right, so. Programming literally works like programming. These tattoos look like toddler scribblings, man. I don't even have any interest in being tap bros with none of these freaks. I don't know if I buy that, but okay. Anyway, so that takes us way over there. We've got uh, meat for roadkill for that guy. There's uh, more meat from that guy. There's radio silence. Another clutch Nixon. Let's go up here to radio silence. And we'll swing by and do the clutch Nixon and uh, take out the pin K0 radar station. Coming, Junior. This will be fun, man. We can have a sing along, play I Spy. <laughs> play I Spy. Liberated another hostage. 
All right, man, I'm in and clench it onto the seat. Let's do this. Come on! Gun sniper. Making my life miserable. All right, that was ridiculous. I couldn't shoot it with the helicopter. No, oh, whatever. And now my helicopter's gone. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to wingsuit it. Hey! Is everybody just coming up here? Shares these. <laughs> uh, I hate this guy and love this guy. That was fun. All right, we're gonna wingsuit this, and I'm predicting only two deaths before I get to my destination. Let's uh, make sure we're going the right way. Reach the North Aerial Tower. Okay, here we go. I saw first. You got hit in the junk again. Okay, I'm using my wingsuit. Shouldn't I be going up now? Oh no, I should be going up. Why am I not going up? Crap. No. Oh, and I didn't fall to my death. But I also didn't make very good progress. I did all right. Scrape a few knees. It's just a couple knees we're gonna scrape here. 
Should be able to spot it now. Same deal. Reach the top and mess up the jammer. Oh yeah. Loving this machine gun. And hey, they've got a helicopter waiting for me. Does it have guns? Yes, it does have guns. That's what I like to see. If I get in this, will I unlock it? Well, both my companions are dead, so... <laughs> Can I summon any of them back yet? No, not yet. Cougars! Baseball card! Alright! Oh, I didn't mean to get up there. Your FBI agent says a good game for scotch and smoke rings is Deliver Us the Moon. It has a great story, atmosphere, and would take one to two streams to finish. Not too bad. I'm ready. Oh, those were innocent civilians. Great. Whoops. Destroy the jammer truck. Get ready. It's coming. All clear. Weed is gonna be happy. Can't say the same for people who don't share his taste in music. Maybe we can work on this whole trust thing after all. 
Got Ooh. more work for you back at the Wolf's Den if you're looking to keep busy. See you around. There we go. Yeah, um, you know, I actually played a little bit of Deliver Us the Moon, and uh, it was really slow-paced. Again, not necessarily bad if the story is good, but I played it for a good hour, and I really didn't get much story during that hour. So, something I can definitely look into. Okay, that's the Grandview Hotel. That's a prepper stash. Was I up there and I missed a prepper stash? Okay, well, let's... Uh, I got to deconvert a hostage. Sounds tricky. Um, all right, let's go clear this out in the helicopter. Then let's get the prepper stash. Oh, we should probably do the clutch Nixon. But I got a helicopter. I'm going to use it. Let's go liberate the cult outpost. Kunk says, Ox managed to miss all those missiles. Yeah, well, what do you expect? It's me playing the game. Come on! Curb your enthusiasm here, guys. Come on up! I'm in a helicopter! What are you gonna do? Oh. Radar station liberated. Yeah. Pyro says it took me like 30 minutes to stealth this place. Yep, I don't get that kind of time. <laughs> I'm not even what using a helicopter that I bought. Catch me, which I mean you Ah shit. He's coming for you again, kid. You better be careful. Those hunters could be anywhere. Great, I'm being hunted again. I can see why they took this place. You can see the whole valley. I could really use your help with something. You did good taking over the radar station, but it's not over. Looks like they're still broadcasting data from here. Best way to take it down is to destroy their satellite dishes. Pretty sure I saw three of them on the rooftops around here. Take some explosives and blow them to hell. Better hurry up. I'm pretty sure they already know we're here. Static frequency. Okay. 
Well, can I just use my helicopter if they're on the roof? <laughs> Blowing up helicopters is so much fun. That's not when I'm in them. They blew up my helicopter, so I blew up there. No, no, I, I don't want to go down. I'm trying to destroy these things. Oh, it's done. Grapple my way up there. I can zip line my way up there. go up. There we go. Whitetail sightings. I think we read this one. <clears throat> Stimpy, you idiot, says Ox. The helicopter is kind of like IDDQD and IDKFA. Really? Andrew, you there? Those parts you were looking for, the ones for the helicopter, we found some. Can probably get them to you in the next couple of days, but if you need them sooner than that, you just let me know. Jacob wants those choppers in the air ASAP. Okay, lots of loot and stuff here. Hey, radar station key, a mission item. Helicopter A-1 Archangel follow the uh, Moccasin River to Silver Lake. Helicopter B-5 Messenger patrol the main road, escort any prisoner trucks. Helicopter D-2 Holy Sword escort any bliss shipments coming from the south. Report any contact with Whitetail Militia immediately. All right, so now I need to keep going up. There we go. One more dish to go. One second. I know, I know, texting tax. Here, we'll use the opportunity to run another ad.
Right, and then uh, Christian Webb on Facebook with a donation of stars says, Hey Ox, Greg Brick, the father, named me as his personal chosen herald for Eden's Gate. Oh, okay. I have the video as proof if you'd like to see it, lol. Having the father name me as his personal chosen herald is one of my proudest moments in my life. Hold on, gotta get this. Uh, and I'd like to share it with everyone, lol. I hope you can you see this, and I hope I can prove it to you and everyone that sees this. Thank you for all that you do for us. I really enjoy your Fallout content. Thank you, Ox, and everyone in chat. All right, well, uh, Christian Webb says that he is the chosen herald for Eden's Gate and that it's true and official, and who am I to argue? So thank you for that, Christian. Okay. You've met Eli, right? He's the man with the plan around you. It looks like our weapon vendor may have gotten killed here. On accident. Whoops. Uh oh. Alright, here's the clutch Nixon. I bet you it's helicopter based, and if it's helicopter based, I can do it. In the weeks leading up to May 10th, 1971, Clutch Nixon, the greatest stuntman in the known universe, consumed massive quantities of cigarettes, raw eggs, whiskey, and wolf testosterone, the latter of which was injected directly into his tear ducts. Clutch credited this balanced diet as the reason he survived the punishing mountainside race known as Quadzilla. Clutch went to bed that night with a partially dislocated coccyx and the warm comfort of knowing that his stunt would never be repeated. Dennis O'Brien became a bronze ox. Thank you, Dennis. Quadzilla, Clutch Nixon's on fire. I mean, literally. Light yourself up and speed like a demon through the checkpoints for one hell of a finish. All right, all right, let's try it. How many times am I going to fail? Take it all bets. Take it all bets on how many times I'm going to fail this. I'm going to try at least one more. Maybe two. Another 
Clutch Nixon! Woo! Hey, I did that one. Only took two tries. Alright. Quadzilla complete. Ooh, and I got the Shining Sea Jet Ski. Alright, cool. Cool. Now is the time to rehabilitate this place. Any loot or lore around here? Eli's got cameras hooked up everywhere. All feeding back here to his command center. Let's see. Anything new in the shops? I currently have that equipped. Um, hmm, submachine guns, not too terribly fond of those. I've got this rifle equipped, really? No, these are just purchased. That one's equipped. Okay, I think I'm actually good. Well, my helicopter's gone. Don't think I'm gonna find another one. What's our next target? Well, I wanted to go get that, but I need a helicopter for that. Why can't I fast travel to that helipad? I can fast travel to that one. Right, let's get the prepper stash. Oh wait, there's another clutch. No, that's Bo Adams. Let's get Bo Adams first, he's on the way. Capture party incoming, no! You can't get me, I'm in a helicopter. Can't find me, I'm in a helicopter. As soon as I get out of this helicopter, they're gonna get me, aren't they? Oh, come on! I didn't even get out of the helicopter and they got me. Strong. Not again. Yeah, I hear peaches. His name is Peaches. Nice bass. I know you are in pain. The 
Lord giveth and the Lord taketh, huh? I'll take a pint of You're lager. I'm the only one to be tested. Did you know that I had a wife? So beautiful, isn't she? We were pregnant with our first child. And we were just babies ourselves, really. And I was terrified. I'm becoming a father. Mostly about money. She wasn't worried. She had faith that things were going to work out. She always had faith. And one day she was going to go visit a friend. Oh, it was an accident. The Lord take it. They rushed me to a hospital and put me in a room with this little pink bundle stuffed with tubes. And they said that I had to be strong because my little girl was going to live. God was looking out for our daughter. And they left me alone in the room with her. I just stared at my daughter. You're telling me this, why? So helpless, so innocent. When all she had in the world was me. When nobody from nowhere was me. And you did what? And in that moment, I knew that God was testing me. He was laying out a path before me, and all I had to do was choose. You didn't kill your daughter. So I put my hand on my little girl's head. And I leaned in and I could smell her. And we prayed together. Prayed for wisdom. Prayed for strength. I think telling us that story would make us like him more?
sacrifice the weak. Good. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad, he says. <laughs> Saw that wolf on that. Didn't know if it was just a statue. Part of my imagination, part of the trial. Holy cow. We must be strong. Location discovered Bo's cave. New character found Bo Adams. Is this where I was? Challenge completed SMG skills. Deputy, Celi. Just checking in. Nobody's seen you in a while. Whitetails could really use your help out there. Pop by the wolf stand if you get the chance. We got a lot of work to do. Why am I still alive? Did they just drop me here? Did they assume I was dead? Why would they leave me lying there if I wasn't dead? Devil's Drop. What is this? Oh, this is that one tunnel that we cleared. Do not kill innocents of whoops. That was a that was a jail. Oh man. Okay, we're way over here. We got a couple prepper stashes. I'm going to need a helicopter to get to those. So let's go back. I really need to get all of these prepper stashes. Guy murders his own baby daughter, and he says it in a way as if as if he's trying to make us think that he made some great sacrifice. Look what I did. I even murdered my daughter because it was the right thing to do. That kind of nonsense pisses me off. Okay, one prepper stash at a time. I need... More skill points. I want to max out this character. Matthew Lowe says, Hello again, Ox. Been loving your Far Cry gameplay. Makes me want to order the game. Looking really good, my man. Whatever you're doing is really showing Buff Fox coming to a live stream near you soon. <laughs> someday, someday I will be Buff Fox. But for the moment, I'm just um, semi Buff Fox. Buff Fox in training.
Handwritten note. To Shep. Damn thief got into my cabin. Nearly got my stash. I'm off to track that bastard down. Meanwhile, see what you can do with the lock. I'll be damned if this is gonna happen again. Hardcastle. New prepper stash, unwelcome guest. Find Frank and his key. Find. <coughs> I guess we follow the trail of junk. Blood. Oh dear. Damaged skin. <laughs> yeah, that's a damaged skin. Well, it wasn't a thief. It was a bear. <laughs> All right, back to the pepper staff. DJ says the comedy of this situation is more than ox can bear. Oh, TJ. Before I bother spending my points and choosing perks, let's go get the rest of them. There's a bunch in these lower mountains just strung along together. Adam, <laughs> Adam M says, boo. What, you didn't like that bear pun? <laughs> boo. <laughs> says it was the thief of picnic baskets. Steel 101 says, come on guys, Ox is doing the best he can. Bear with him. Bear with me, folks. <laughs> Alright, I got another vinyl. 
handwritten note. Sorry I locked you out, but I just couldn't wait. I heard some noises outside the cabin and just had to follow. If you need your gear, just head north along the trail. I'm up at the old lookout. I've got a feeling our hunt is over soon, and we'll have proof of that squatch once and for all. Get the drams ready, Dicky Dansky. Uh-oh, are we going to find a sheep squatch or a sasquatch or a bear squatch? Gone squatching. I hear bees. Dicky Dansky's manuscript. For me, my obsession with Bigfoot started when I was a teenager. I had a summer job as a counselor at a nearby camp. I was in charge of looking after a bunch of 12-year-olds, taking them hiking, canoeing, and generally trying to keep them alive. We also went out into the woods to do some backpacking and camping out in the wilderness. I'll never forget what I saw that night. We had set up camp deep in the woods and were just about finished, uh, had just about finished our dinner when we heard something large move through the underbrush. At first, we worried it could be a bear, but what we saw that night wasn't like any bear I've ever seen. Dun dun dun! Squatch time. That's a big moose. Ooh, that's a big moose. All right, follow the road north. Find. Mm. I mean, if it's a squatch. Is that a sprinkler? Oh, it's a snake. Snake, what away from the snake. Cult VIP killed. You just stood there like an idiot, didn't you? You ain't a Peggy, so you're okay in my books. Well, thank you. Never thought this gun would get to see so much use. Really? They're not gonna let me, uh, grapple my way up there? You look like you can handle a weapon. What, schmuck? Thump thump! <laughs> civilian rescued? I rescued a civilian? Did I? I didn't even know there was one here! I'm glad I didn't kill it. An accident. Goddamn Peggies are trying to take all the game for themselves. Lookout point. No way am I letting that happen. I bet it's not named Point Lookout. Journal entry 419. I can't believe it. I heard it. A genuine Sasquatch call. I'm sure it's from a cave I've seen on the nearby cliffs. I've got a feeling that today is going to be the day that I come face to face with the Squatch itself. Brandon Belfed says Far Cry 4 had a DLC dedicated entirely to Yetis. So who knows what you'll find. Oh dear God. <laughs> Gonna get some Yetis. Oh God, I, I hope I've got enough ammunition. That well, sounded like a Yeti. It didn't sound like a bear. Oh, goodness. Caution, watch your step. Ooh. Someone else got into the picnic basket. And it wasn't that bear. Oh, bones. What's dog food? Oh.
like I'm going the wrong way. Maybe this will take me up and around. <coughs> oh, more detritus. Really? Oh, man. Okay. Oh. Oh God. Is this our guy? Yep. Did he find a Sasquatch? What did he find? <clears throat> Lots of human bones and some sort of den up here, but no Sasquatch. A Yeti? Oh, we don't get a big payoff. We'd never find out what it was, do we? They're all coming for me now. Where's the next one? Next one is whoa, way over here. Oh, there's a roadkill one over here. I wonder if I can just drop down and pick up the roadkill, or do I have to actually drive over it? I'm 
another prepper stash way over there. All right, we can get that and then move up here. To Elk Jaw Lodge. Matthew on Facebook says, I can't bear any more puns, chap. And then he says, he says, he went looking, yet he never found it. He went looking, yet he never found it. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, something in the water. Prepper stash first. <coughs> Salvage permit. Name of applicant, Thomas Salvage and Recovery. Location, Silver Lake, Montana. Description, small Cessna submerged. Notes, the spirit, along with pilot Fred Tanner, went down March 8th, 2013. Recovered a lockbox from the fuselage. Key to lockbox still missing. Prepper stash. The Adventurer on YouTube says, hi. Hi there, The Adventurer. All right, so there's the uh, fuselage of the... Got him. Of the plane. Let's see if we can go find it. Find the Where key. Where are you supposed to be? Some kind of cop or something? I mean, yeah. It's called a voter cycle. Not that one. Excuse me. All right, I think we tried to get this one. Yep, that was the propeller. Another one over here. Hmm. 
No! TJ says you gotta go uh, way further and deeper, Oxhorn. Usually there's a boat marking the key place, but it did not spawn for you. Oh, great. Oh! Found it! There it was. Yeah, there's a body down here. But uh, there was no boat marking it. Robin on Facebook says, Hi, friends, with a donation of stars. Hey there, Robin. Rights complete. I made it. Where's my helicopter? Oh, it was right here. Come on, man. Oh well, guess I'm getting the plane. Holland Valley. Okay, <clears throat> well, let's uh, liberate the cult outpost. Spend my points. I got 20 points to spend. All right. 
<clears throat> Let's see, what have I got? What are some of the expensive ones down here? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Craftable explosives are all available in the shops. Reduced animal attack damage. Sabotage vehicles. Throw back an incoming grenade. Make less noise. I mean, if I wanted a stealth. Carry more ammo. Carry more grenade launcher ammo, yeah. There we go. Right into it. Well, that didn't work out as well as I had hoped. <laughs> oh, no. Got it. Thought I would tear it up by just landing into it, but no, wasn't in the cards. Get this mortar 
guy. Alright, where's the last guy? Crap, is he on the mortar? And I did it by landing a plane in the place. Hey, and I survived. <laughs> that time, anyway. You're getting shattered that you've cleared out the elk jaw. Nice work, deputy. Jacob's been using that place to turn these wolves into judges for months now. Without it, we're one step closer to taking down his whole operation. All right. <laughs> All right, time for another ride. Here's hoping now, that's the end of the I saw some lore up here. Hey. All sorts of goodies. Judges at the Fang Center, and it hasn't come yet. If you don't have enough, we'll send more hunting parties out to get more wolves. But don't just leave us hanging like this. Jacob's gonna be pissed if he doesn't get fully trained judges like he asked for.
Cult note. Hey, Bill. That stuff you asked me to hold on to, it's locked up in the radio room. It was just the only place I thought would be safe enough. Just come find me if you need the key. Peter. I think that's the room we just unlocked. Look at this place. Who would do that to an animal? The kind of guy that would murder his own daughter? So these are all the experiments they did on animals. There's the key. Don't need it anymore. All right. Uh-oh. You a nice wolfie? If I let you out, are you gonna play nice? Can I let you out? I can't let him out. Hey. No, 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 he wanted to kill me. Well, too bad. Well, all sorts of opportunities for a stealth attack here. No, I didn't do any of them. Instead, I flew the plane into it. Okay. Cutting their livestock. We owe you big time for what you did here. Cult outpost cleared. Well, I'll tell you what, let's uh go get a helicopter shop again. Do we need to go back to Tammy Barnes? Tammy has anything for us. Wasn't sure you'd come back, but I guess you're full of surprises. This squealer here ran security up at the chalet. Lucky for us, he wasn't that good at his job and wound up in my kiddie pool. Seems the place is being used as a training ground for the Chosen. If you've seen them in action, you know how ruthless they are. You know what Jacob taught them to use for target practice? Live bodies. Gets their first kill jitters out of the way. These motherfuckers don't value any life that ain't in their cult. And they need to be put down like the dogs they are. So you're gonna head up to that chalet. You're gonna kill every Chosen you see, and you're gonna rig that building with explosives. And then, we're gonna watch that whole fucking place turn into a smoldering heap of ash. Sound good to you? Yeah! Eviction notice! Sounds good to me. Get to the chopper.
Alright, is that it? Now do I got to plant the explosives? inside. Dude, just listening to this guy talk, day in, day out, drive me freaking crazy. Big middle finger. I need to step AFK for just a second. Be right back.
I don't think I want to do the roadkill ones because I, I, I really don't like the idea of having to drive around until I find a, a an antlered creature to kill. We've got George Wilson over here, and then wasn't there a quest up here with the chalet? Yeah, the hotel. Then there's Bo Adams. Did we ever find Bo Adams? I don't know if we ever did. Well, we're way down there, so let's just travel north. Let's go get George Wilson. Maybe take out uh, the Whitetail Park Ranger Station. Go get Bo Adams, and we'll then head to the hotel. Looks like I don't have that picnic area just yet, so we gotta fly there. Defense always shit the bed. Couldn't catch, couldn't throw, couldn't turn a double play. God damn it. I should have trademarked advanced stats before those chumps swiped the idea from me. Name's George. I watch the roads for Eli. Let him know what the Peggies are up to. Seen a lot of trucks full of prisoners lately. Reckon they're all heading to the old lumber mill. Wasn't always like that. Used to be this whole place was filled with kids laughing, playing ball. I'd tease them too. Used to play in the miners. Short stop for the Hope County Cougars. Now, that was a long time ago, before this goddamn war. Been looking through my old cards. Them cult fucks killed our whole damn team. Could have sworn I had the full set from when I played, but some of them are missing. Oh. I see you already have some, but I really need the whole set. Come back when you got them all. It'd be great to remind folks of the good old days. Okay, so that's Grand Slam. I gotta go collect a bunch of baseball cards. Cougars baseball cars. I've got three of nine. Ah, well, I'll keep my eyes open, but no promises, buddy. That's a lot of baseball card collecting. All right, so now we know who he is. Let's go up here and free the Whitetail Park Ranger Station.
Beacon deployment. Jacob needs us to capture as many lives as we've read that down, one before. They would be ashamed. They would be sickened. And they would be angry. in a car or something Solution. ammunition manifest rifle ammunition four skids 12 boxes each skid pistol ammunition uh, 12 boxes grenades three cases 12 each mortars one case cheeseburger bobblehead oh wait uh, there he is Now he's gone. Ancient men were killers. They were tenacious. They were strong. Can't shoot now the TV, of course. Passive, lazy, weak. Okay, I'm clearly missing something. Culture and technology have <laughs> was one glitched wolf, of course. <laughs>
What you get it to do under the right circumstances. Asshole, You're familiar with the term classical conditioning, right, deputy? It's where a conditioned stimulus, say a song, leads to a reflective response. In this case, to train, to kill, to sacrifice. Liberated! Sinner wanted Jess Black. Sinner wanted Eli Palmer. Real hunting is killing something with one shot. No fear. I got the targets all set up. Bam. The record for shooting them all is 30 seconds. Let's see if you can do any better. Oh, great. Shooting gallery side mission. Shoot a target to start? Oh, man. Course they're moving. What? Bird. Birds? No, I can't shoot birds. I hate birds. Go get these weapons back. I can't shoot first. Right. Oh, I hate birds so much. Come on back, we'll make it official. Did I do it? I'm ready. I've got this. Okay. I guess I did it. I'm no good at shooting birds, but I did something. Hey, come here! You're pretty handy with that thing. Here, you earn this. Alright, shooting gallery completed. What I get some money. Oh no, don't get me demonetized. Oh no, 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 what's going on? Why is everything getting sparkly? I'm getting in my chopper! Get in my chopper! No! They got me again. Ew! Oh, you must be hungry. <laughs> yeah. And you know it takes ten days for civilization to collapse. Yeah. You take away a man's basic needs and he will revert to his Scare primordial up. instincts bah! in just ten days. <laughs> That's a difficult thing to understand unless you've lived it. <laughs> nope. You know, I was in Iraq during the first Gulf War. 82nd Airborne All-Americans. Hoorah! <laughs> One night there was a, an ambush. And me and this guy named Miller got separated from the unit. No food. No radio. Nearest base, 200 clicks to the south, so we just started walking. Well, by the third day, I knew we were lost. Day six, ran out of water. You know what that's like, don't you? Difficult to swallow. On the seventh day, Miller's legs started going all wonky. 
Did you know your brain starts to eat your muscles in order to survive? That's why you're so goddamn skinny. And by the eighth day, the wolves were closing in. And I looked at Miller and I could tell we were as good as dead. And I accepted that. So you ate him? And in that acceptance... Yeah, did you eat him? ...came clarity. Tell me you didn't eat him. You see, I wasn't just looking at Miller. You were looking at food? I was looking at an opportunity. To eat? It wasn't something I wanted. It was something that I had to do. It was... It was my test. Of course it was. You see, Miller's sacrifice wasn't about me walking out of that desert. It was about bringing me here. The weak have their purpose. You'll understand that soon enough. Poor Elvis. Carol Ann says this guy is monologuing. Shoot him. Watch your time. Well done. Keep moving. Whoops. Somehow I got lost there. Sacrifice the weak. I remember now, I gotta jump down into it on the other side. I forgot about that. You went backwards, Ox says Kunk. Yeah, yeah, I went backwards. Good. Call the herd! Not bad.
That's it. You're a warrior. Okay, got it. Took two times that time. Starts again. Follow me. I hope we can save him. He knows you're ready to do it. Look. Trials. See? He's got it all planned out. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then he's got you. It becomes second nature routine. He gets in your head. And you don't even realize it. He can't ever go back. You understand? You can't ever go back. Come on. The truck. That truck's gotta be there. Gotta get on the truck. It's almost time. I've studied the route for weeks. It's the only way out. You'll be safe if you don't. lost. Somehow alive, and somehow nowhere near where I was, again, without explanation, again. Oh, he pushed me onto the truck as it was driving away, I see. Deputy, did you copy? Eli, I don't know where you've gone and disappeared to, but shit. We really kicked the hornet's nest. I know you're probably out there trying to get your friend Pratt back, but us whitetails could still use a hand. Anyways, you know where to find us. Talk soon. Hey, Jeff. Not sure where you've been, but you should head on over to the crossroads where the Grill Streak used to be. They've got something up on the screen there you've got to see. Uh, where the what used to be? Uh, there's reached the Grandview Hotel. I guess I don't understand what he wants me to do. Where the what used to be? Right, uh... Okay, I've got another prepper stash over there. I'm going to need a helicopter to get it. And then I have a quest here that they gave me to deconvert the lodge. That's pretty far away.
Tell you what, let's go there. Okay, I want a helicopter. So let's get a car real quick. That'll do. Oh, pretty. All right, I want to go get a helicopter, so let's go here. I can't fast travel there yet, so I better discover it. Baker says, stay fabulous, Ox. Thank you for the great streams and constant entertainment. You're welcome, Claire Marie. I don't plan on going anywhere as long as you guys keep watching. I buy them, they don't even see me. All right, that's time for another ad. Let's do that real quick. And then let's discover this so that we can get the fast travel marker. That should give us a fast travel marker, yes. Now let's get in the helicopter and let's get the prepper stash first. Then we'll go to the hotel. Oh, this one doesn't have any guns. Handwritten note, Eli has tasked me with finding a way to get the message out. The cult controls all communications, not to mention all the bridges in and out. 
Our only hope is to fly out before they're able to control the skies as well. I've got my gear with me. I plan on leaving tonight under the cover of darkness. Wish me luck, Kyle. Investigate, Skunk! Run away! Don't let that skunk stink. to the case. awarded. That brings me up to five that I could spend, but uh, I can't afford anything that I want here. Now, is my helicopter okay? <laughs> I kind of landed it amongst some trees, so I think I kind of ruined it. Let's go check on it. Yeah, I think I might have destroyed it. I mean, I landed it. No, there it is! See if we can get out of here unscathed. Don't shoot at me with your bow and arrow. Alright, that's the that's the uh, hotel right there. And I don't have guns on this vehicle, so I'm gonna parachute down. Use Wheaties tape to deconvert the whitetail hostage. Is that him? Get up there, He was right there! This one's more of a nuisance! Hey!
Remember your training! Prisoner list, uh, McCulkin, age 23, a list, long list of guys, most of which are dead, but I just hope they don't Burn kill the prisoner. The That's a bear. Deployment. We've read that. List of washouts. H. McCulkin, for someone who was supposed to join the 3rd Marines, she sure didn't last long on the trials. M. Barnes completed all trials but unable to complete the sacrifice executed. B. Bauer showed promise but ended up failing the second trial. M. Herzogowski failed after the first trial wasn't Eden's Gate material. Kotevich completed all the trials successfully, but was unable to complete the final sacrifice and had to be terminated. Kavari completed the second trial, but executed trying to escape the compound. Uri executed after refusing to participate in the trials for the third time. Flattery failed to complete the third trial. And now the bill has come due. The collapse is upon us. Hey, uh, this is Phil. We got another dozen pledges coming your way. I know it's a big bash, but we hit payday on those motherfucking whitetails. I don't want them rotting away in the mill. We're hauling out bodies every couple hours. Now we got some crazy Hunger Games wannabe to deal with. We'll make room. The truck will be there any time now. Okay. Well. Cold Sermon. To pass through the gate, you must sacrifice something of yourself. To let go of the past and fully embrace your future with the Father. It has to have meaning. What is it that is keeping you here? What is it that anchors you, that prevents you from giving yourself freely to the Father? Is it your husband, your wife, your child, maybe your brother or mother? Once you have rid yourself of the shackles of your old life, then you can open your heart to the Father's voice. Laundry key, laundry key. That's where he's gonna be. He's gonna be in the laundry room. This is a kitchen. Where would a laundry room be? In a basement? Oh, here's the laundry room. Search for Briggs. He's not in the laundry room. Over and over, the lives of the many have outweighed the lives of the few. This is how we P. Survive. Briggs. Room F. F. And room F. And now the bill has come to What's room F? And now the lives of the few outweigh the lives That's 201. Two oh three. He's dead. These aren't labeled F. Okay. Three oh one. Top floor says chat. Top floor. I was at the top floor. Found him. Just let the tape do its thing. Ah, shit. 
yes. I'm seeing trucks headed your way. Jacob must have been waiting for us to hit him again. Kid, I'm seeing mortars and MGs outside. Get creative. They got lots of toys out there.
Got it. Gotta protect this guy. Don't want to get too far. from his eyes. Is that... He can recover from that? Okay. Jake won't be using Grandview to fuck with anyone now. God damn. I'd love to see his ugly mug when he hears he lost his little torture chamber. You alright, Briggs? You know, you proved everyone wrong, Depp. Everyone except me. Always knew you were the real deal. I'll see you back at the den, soldier. Take care. Get free complete. Oh man, we are making progress today. Golly, I think we read that one, right? Yep. That was intense. I gotta say, I had a lot of fun with that one. It was stressful. It was stressing me out, but that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Toasted. All right, well, we got the prepper stash. We got that. We've got the meat one we could do. Have we talked to Bo Adams yet? We have not talked to Bo Adams yet. Where did I park my um, helicopter? Did I park it on the roof? I think I crashed it on the roof and then parachuted down. Is that what I did?
Guess I gotta climb. It'll be a lot easier in a helicopter. We just got a train. We got to Either my mind's playing tricks on me or someone's watching. There we go. Shadows deep as black, just lit by moving candles and lamps. Hello there. I can tell just from looking at you that you're no Peggy. If you were, we'd be having different words. Glad you joined the right side. Call me Bo. I've been living off this land for as long as I can remember. I've seen a lot over the years. Crime, corruption, madness. But nothing like Eden's Gate. It hasn't changed my ways, though. Just another thing to survive against. Ain't nothing more powerful than Mother Nature. But you don't beat her. You work with her. Now, in times like these, it ain't smart relying on man-made junk to save your ass. I can see the skepticism in your eyes. Tell you what. Get me some eagle feathers and big old leviathan bones, and I'll prove it to you. What? Eagle feathers and whale bombs? Reach Snowshoe Lake. Are you kidding me? I don't want... I don't want to kill birds for eagle feathers. Jacob's got his eyes on you. Watch it. <laughs> Eli says you're bringing a whole lot of pain to these... Well, let's see if there's something else I can do. Help Bo find some extremely rare and hard to find materials. Yeah, no thanks. All right, the only other one is the meat one, the roadkill. I don't want to do that one either. Okay, there's a couple Clutch Nixons over here. Kirk Drubman Sr. I already went to him. I could collect more baseball cards, but I really don't want to do a collection quest either. Destroy Jacob's helicopters. I mean, yeah, I could do that. Ragnar the Terrible. Catch the unique fish. No, I don't want to go fishing either. Okay, I could destroy a helicopter. How about I destroy a helicopter? With a helicopter. Oh yeah. Doc Holliday says the Feathers and Bone quest really isn't that bad. Alright. Maybe I'll do that one next. You should bring Herc along this time. Yeah, I forgot about my companions. Let's get a good old Herc. Is it gonna appear in my...
Well, that one didn't go boom. All right, let's land so that Herc can catch up to us and hop in the chopper. All right, where you at, Herc? Did we assign him? We did. All right, I don't know where he is. He'll find Coming us. Coming as fast as I can. I'm, I'm running. I'm running as fast as I can. All right, well, hop in. Herc, hop in. No, 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 no. Hop in. Oh, he's in his own ATV. That's what he wants to be in. There you go, jump out. I'm here to help mess some shit up, man. Yeah, hop in. There you go, you got your rocket launcher. Get in. Get in. Get in. Thank you. Tends to make him gassy, poor guy. All right, well, we can go do some eagle feathers. See how difficult they are? I mean, I can shoot the eagles out of the sky with a helicopter. Man, where's the suspension in this thing? I can feel every damn pedal rattle in my taint. Dude, stop talking about your taint, guy. It's like every nerve ending this man has leads to his taint. Alright, Herc, you man the chopper. I'm gonna go get Leviathan bones. Oh, what's that sound? Oh, man, they're all over there. Leviathan. It looked like a dolphin. Okay, now I gotta reach the mountain pass for the eagles. Eagle feathers. I wonder if I can just blast them out of the sky. No! Back to the chopper! Come on, Herc! Get in! Herc! Herc! You're gonna get me killed! Get I'll back! I'll get you gas money later, man! Christ! I can see you! Is this where the eagles are? Oh yeah. Reached the 
the mountain pass. Climb up the mountain? Yeah, no, how about I just do this? Yeah, I'll climb up the mountain. Avoid the bobcat, the cougar. Quite an obstacle course. <laughs> they would have had me fight that on foot. Pieces. Oh, what do I do with my helicopter? Here we go. I gotta go over there to get the eagle stuff, man. Hop in. Die, Eagles! Herc! Come on! Above the roads didn't tend to make me gassy, so... I could not Well, I think they wanted that to be far more acrobatic than I made it. Climb the mountain, they say, no, I'm just gonna use the helicopter.
All right, I got your Leviathan bones and your eagle Glad you feathers. Made it back. Good work getting these. I respect folks who can handle themselves in nature. With a helicopter. Here, this will serve you well. Someday, man's creations will all disappear, but Mother Nature will remain. She's a great teacher. Listen to her, learn from her, and you will persevere. Test it out in some peggies. Lumber mill's a good place for action. Nature provides complete. I got some money and the ultimate hunter buffs added to my inventory. Lumber mill, have Eli I? Eli says you've turned the tide, but Jacob's still out there. It's up to us to put him down. Yeah, let's go put him down. Me and Herc. Right, well, I mean, I'm so close. I don't see any more places I can destroy. Okay, a couple more people I could find. I really don't want to do the roadkill one. Lumber mill. Name's Jess. Jess Black. Find me at the lumber mill. Let's do the lumber mill. Everybody's been talking about you, and they are right. You got some serious gun foo skills, man. You and me as dude amigos. We're gonna mess some things up real good. <laughs> This'll be fun, man. We can have a sing along. We're free! The helicopter's natural enemy. Look, over there! The tree. Tell you what, let's bring our other friend here in the helicopter. We can dual helicopter this. Yeah! Now I won't have Just to use... Just my luck. Xander was about to show me advanced couple yoga. We'll have to wait, Thunder Junk. Lady, missed out on some, uh... So first. Yoga with the Xander. <laughs> Did she call him Thunder Junk? <laughs> God. Well, uh, now uh, we can get dual helicopters without uh, resorting to a game glitch wherein hers duplicates itself. Better? We'll fight better. Thirty minutes left. Can I do this in thirty minutes? I think so. There's a lady here. I don't want to kill. So do I go in guns blazing? I mean, yeah. Adam M says proof helis can be used for hunting. Second Amendment intensifies. Never get a hunter's license from my head.
Why is she in conflict? Where'd you come from? Things for busting me out. Name's Jess. If you're out here picking fights with the cult, then I'm guessing you already know my Uncle Dutch. Look, I don't got a lot of time to waste. I'm gonna get right to the point. I was on the trail of one of Jacob's zealots. Goes by the name The Cook. Yeah, he sounds so scary. Believe me, he's one twisted fuck. Almost tracked him down. But a Peggy patrol got the drop on me. I need your help. We can't let this trail go cold. This guy's butchered a lot of innocent folk around here. Can't let him get away with it any longer. Gotta move. Wasted too much time already. Follow me. Well, follow you. Follow you. This way. Wait. Damn, Jess, you look good today, girl. We got that uh, badass ninja shit going on. Like you might kill me. To that was a little more excitement than I wanted today. Well, I wish I could have uh, heard that interaction a little bit better. <laughs> it seems like Herc was flirting with her. She wasn't having none of it. Sweet, I got three people helping me out. She's probably going to want to do it. That's his calling card. Innocent people. Probably gonna want to stealth on up here, but uh, that's not gonna be practical with a big noisy helicopter in the sky. And this dude, what oh, happens here? Cults never take you from your home, bar, even church. Don't matter where you are. Then they slot you into one of two categories. Weak or strong. See, Jacob's building an army. I thought it was Harry back at our marina, but this place? They're all goddamn psychotic. If I don't make it, you tell Xander I was thinking of him in the end. And her junior too, I guess. Nobody believed it was happening. Yeah. Well, I wish they would prioritize um, mission text over companion text. I can't say who it is, you Because I could barely hear what she was saying. You got some Peggy Dingleberries on your ass, kiddo. That'll shut you up. Yeah. Who needs stealth? Bow and arrow, my butt. Thing he did was stop them. 
faith in them. Not even a trunk. After three days, they got so thirsty they had to drink their own piss. But the kids didn't want to do it. So the parents forced it down their throats. Kids These Peggy's are really starting to get wound up. I think they all need to get laid more. Strong parents. This place, my humble opinion, is completely fucked up. Hold up. I got to get over there. The Lucinero project says sneak 100. Yeah, totally sneaking in here. <laughs> She's pretending to be all stealthy, Robin Hood character, and here I am with a helicopter and a bazooka. <laughs> More hostages. They're gonna execute. I'm gonna move from point B to point A. One got killed. But I got two. Is what we want to go Somebody wants to go along with that. Whoop! They got a beat on me! Don't one over there! Exactly. Who's shooting at her? I decided to give the kids a little water. Get 
observed. Well, I killed him. Right about a lot of shit lately. Colt, Eli, maybe he's right about you too. You uh need someone to watch your back? Call me. And uh thanks for everything you've done. You bet! Quest complete! A dish served. My dad don't like this. Oh, we are so close to completing this region. For a little bit. But whenever I want, I can have you back here with me. I give you enough time to play your little games. I'll let you know when it's time to come home. Only you. Dude, stop singing Elvis at me, man. Hey, deputy. That needs some mine. She don't make friends easy. But if you want things done quickly and quietly, she's your girl. Keep her safe for me, okay? She's been through a lot. Uh, run away! Run away! No! Where's my bazooka when I need it? Say Sherzies. Well, I wonder if we could have used our words to avoid fighting. Did he say? I wonder if we could have used our words to avoid fight fighting. Ah, no. Well, too bad they shut down my helicopter, and I'm kind of stuck here. Okay. 
Well, I'm so close to completing this, I think I should probably go back to the law mill. Dr. Sarah Perkins. She has a quest for me though, doesn't she? See if there are, anyway, we can go back here, get any side quests and that'll push us over the edge. Right! Up there! Buddy! Over here! Mind lending a hand? You did good here! Saved a lot of people! Thanks! Thing is, I know these fuckers. They're like clockwork. The trucks they send to pick up the next bunch of recruits are already on their way. I want to set up a little welcome party when they come through the front gates. We're going to blow those trucks sky high so they'll never use them again. Whatever we do, we can't let them get away. Welcome party. Prepare for an ambush. Oh, no. Ha! Now the faggots don't have any hardwood anymore. Have you seen all the wolves, Den? Pretty amazing, if you ask me. Can't see them yet! Serves them right. Party completed! Jacob Seed is hunting you. It's time Come to take on, him down. Oh, no, no. Right. Uh, I mean, I've got 10 minutes left, guys. I'm going to do a hard save here. There's no way. I can't go over time. I have a hard stop. And I've got 10 minutes left. And they're coming for me. This is end game, right? Is there enough end game to do a new stream? I hope so, because I, I have a hard stop. I can't continue today. He's hunting for me now. So, I mean, I can't escape. I can't get in a helicopter. I can't do anything. Not enough time. All right, well, I can't do it in 10 minutes. And that's all I've got left, so I'm going to go ahead and end the broadcast here. And I know. I know that sucks, but I, I, I'm out of time. All right, everybody, thank you for coming. No, that's not end game at all? Oh, good, good. If it's not end game, then great. Cool, cool. Then I'll just, uh, I'll get kidnapped by these guys next time I go live, and we'll keep playing... For, from there TJ says I vote overtime for Jacob damn you have the DLC you have to try out after the main game Oxhorn cool well I can't I can't go overtime today I have a hard stop I gotta pick my kids up from summer camp okay so I, I literally don't have any more time but I'm gonna let you guys go here thank you so much for joining me for today's broadcast of Far Cry 5 I've been having so much fun today Herc is just great <laughs> I wish I would have ran with him uh, a lot earlier now, it looks like we've picked up all the companions now. Uh, she was the last one on our slot, on our, our roster. So that's all the companions. We finished this last portion of the region. Now it's time to confront Jacob. And we'll do that next week. For the rest of this week, I will have a, a broadcast on Wednesday. I don't know what that will be yet, but I'll let you know as uh, uh, time gets closer. For Thursday, we'll pick up uh, right where we left off with the quarry, which we've been having a lot of fun with. Really 
cringy dialogue and a bunch of teenagers that we kind of hope die in the night, you know, to some sort of dark, nasty monster. So that's fun. We'll uh, we'll hope they all get murdered during that broadcast. And then uh, for Friday, we will continue with Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider. We're making progress on that story as well. I'm knee deep in the production of my new lore series. I don't think I'll have anything for the weekend. Maybe next weekend? I don't know. We'll see how far I get in my uh, capture, uh, how much footage I can capture for the rest of this week. But enough for, from me today. Enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I'll see you all again very soon with more lore videos and more live streams. Bye-bye now.